Welcome to Math with Wong. Today we're going to look at number five of the May 2024 um, IB exam paper one. So as we look at this particular question, part A says find the x coordinate of point A and the x coordinate of point C. And you realize that point a and point C are the intersection points between the two graphs. We have a cosine function when we have a sine function. Um, the domain here is zero to pi. So that means this graph here is your cosine function, which starts from up top. And the other function here is the uh, um, the period is pi, so you have a horizontal compression by a factor of a half. So this one is the sine two x. To find the point of intersection between the two, I'm going to make the two equations or two graphs equal to each, each equal to each other and solve. So cosine x is equal to sine two x. This is a double angle. So you're going to use the double angle formula. The double angle formulas for sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. Now I'm going to bring everything to one side. So bring the cosine to the right. And I'm going to do a common factor. So in this case, cosine x and 2 sine x minus 1. Solving this trigonometry equation, cosine x is going to equal to 0. And sine x is going to equal to 1 over 2. Now, cosine function is going to equal to 0 when x equal to pi over 2 and uh, 3 pi over 2. Now, 3 pi over 2 is out of the range, so um, the domain, we don't want it. And pi over 2 is really point B because it's halfway between 0 to pi. Uh, what about sine x equals to half? Well, that's the cast rule and your friendly angles. If sine is positive, that means the answer must be in quadrant number 1 and quadrant number 2. What's the friendly angles? Sine 30 degrees is a half. So x is equal to 30 degrees and 180 minus 30, which is 150 degrees. In terms of radians, this would be pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So point A, the x coordinates must be pi over 6, and point C, the x coordinates must be 5 pi over 6. That's part A. Part B, we can see that is an integration question. It's the area between two curves. You want to find the shaded area, which is over here. That's between point B and point C. And with the cosine function being the upper function and the sine 2x being the lower function. So integration between pi over 2 and 5 pi over 6. You want the upper function, which is the cosine, subtract the lower function, which is the sine x. I mean sine 2x. So first of all, we're going to integrate. You can again use the um, formula bullet to help. When you integrate sine, a cosine, it becomes sine x. Here you have negative sine. You're going to integrate that. The derivative cosine is negative sine. So this is going to be cosine 2x. But then there's a chain, a chain of 2. So you have to divide by it. And it's between pi over 2 and 5 pi over 6. So what you're going to do is going to sub in and subtract. 
So sine phi pi over six plus a half of cosine twice that, so it's 10 pi over six or phi pi over three. Over here, this is gonna be sine pi over two plus a half cosine pi. Right? What is sine phi pi over six? Well, we already know sine phi pi over six is gonna be a half. Uh, what about cosine phi pi over three? Well, that's cosine 60 degrees, but phi pi over three is in this quadrant. Right? Cosine 60 is also a half. So a half times half is going to be a quarter. A half plus a quarter is going to be three quarters. Uh, what about on this side? What is sine 90 degrees? Sine 90 degrees. Sine 90 degrees is going to equal to 1. What is cosine pi? Cosine pi is here. It's going to be negative 1. So plus a half times negative one. So that's one minus half, which is one half. Three quarters take away half is going to equal to a quarter. So the area between the two curves here is going to equal to one over four. Okay, thank you for watching.